Welcome to the home of golf, the old course at St Andrews. The Alfred Dunhill Company this year celebrate 35 years of sponsorship here at St Andrews, years which have featured most of the greatest players in the world. With only a gentle seaside breeze, scoring conditions were excellent on the opening day of the Alfred Dunhill Lynx Championship on all three courses, and not just for the pros. Justin Timberlake showing his skills from the bunker at Carnoustie. Playing with Justin Rose and receiving only two shots on his handicap, Justin Timberlake proved that he's a pretty good golfer as well. Hollywood superstar Bill Murray is a veteran of this competition and pro-ams generally and he can play to lovely touch from the Caddyshack star at the 15th. That was pretty good. good. McElroy second into five. I guess coming from tropical Yorkshire he does notice a difference. Look at this. Beautiful shot. Sets up nicely for a little westwards fade. Going to try and cut it to this right pin. Don't overcut it. There's a bunker there. And you can plug in it. Has he got it right? Yeah, it's just magnificent. Magnificent, magnificent. Oh, he has got it right. Can you believe it? Just right. In for a one. Good club, Kelly. <laughs> Roll into that one. Well, we've got a new shot of the day. Yes, we have. <laughs> and Keith, I think he's happier than uh, Kiss from the Bride, or the potential bride. Oh, what a, what a shot. Justin Rose had a good day. This for a birdie at the sixth at Carnoustie, playing with Justin Timberlake. 68 for Justin Rose. That's four under par. But the man at the top of the leaderboard is Justin Walters of South Africa, who's not had a great season, but played beautifully today in the old course at St Andrews. Nine birdies for a 63, including this at his closing hole, the ninth. Yeah. Any day you shoot 63 in the old course is something special. Justin Walters, top of the leaderboard at nine under. Despite the damp conditions on day two of the Alfred Dunhill Lynx Championship in Scotland, there was some outstanding golf played, not all of it by the professionals. Some of the amateurs were more than impressive. Justin Timberlake, for example, plays off two, playing in the company of Justin Rose, holding this for a birdie at the ninth. But his big moment came at the 11th. His partner in trouble, he would eventually make double bogey. How about this putt from the musical superstar? The two Justins, Rose and Timberlake, challenging for the team title. But so are the McElroys, Rory and Dad Jerry. This was Rory's third into the 12th, also at King's Barnes. Wonderful touch. A tap in birdie, a round of 66. It's gone for the high one, Jay. Land is softly, not too much spin on it's easy to draw it back off this portion of the green, it runs down a big tier. Stunning iron shot. Never left the flag. The man out in front, though, is the 23-year-old Englishman, Matthew Jordan, lying fifth on the Challenge Tour rankings, getting an outing on the main tour and showing a lot of good golf. A birdie at the 13th, a 64 for 14 under. Matthew Jordan leads by one. The two Justins are challenging for the team trophy. World number four, Justin Rose, and musical superstar, 
Justin Timberlake. Also playing in the old course today is Rory McIlroy, and there's no doubt what Rory wants to give his dad, Jerry, for his 60th birthday. They want to win the team prize here at the Dunhill Links. Jamie Redknapp, former England football international, played beautifully today in the company of his partner, Luke Donald. They shot 57 around the old course, 27 under par for three rounds. McDonald finally looks so swing better this week. Looks so he's going the aerial route. from Luke Donald, absolutely magnificent, moves into minus 16 and around the 64, that's the way to play to the crowd, brilliant. What's their team score today? Another of the amateurs who really impressed the crowds was Jerry McElroy, father of Rory, this for a birdie at 12. Yes. The McElroys are back tomorrow, 28 under par, and Rory would just love to win the team prize for his dad. He's probably got just a little bit too much to do, the world number two, to win the Alfred Dunhill Lynx Championship. He did hold this birdie putt at 16, but a round of 70 in the old course wasn't quite what he was looking for. He's at 10 under par. Shane Lowry had a spectacular start. He birdied the first five holes into the wind on the old course. Picked up another three in the way in. A 64, and he's at 13 under par. But two men share the lead. Matt Southgate yet to win on the European Tour. This a birdie at the 18th, his ninth on the old course. A round of 65. He's played very consistently all week and he's tied for the lead at 20 under par. Alongside Victor Perez, the Scottish-based Frenchman. A birdie at the fourth at Kings Barnes for a 64. The celebration of Lynx Golf, which is the Alfred Dunhill Lynx Championship, provided a thrilling finale to both the individual and team events. Rory McElroy and his father Jerry battling it out for the team trophy. Rory's third into the fifth on his way to a 67. And left his father Jerry, though, needing to hold this for an eagle at their final hole. And he very nearly did. Leaders in the team, Fleetwood and Phipps. Tommy's got an eagle putt at five. Oh, with this put the... Oh, he's got it. Well, Ogden Phipps will be giving him a smacker on the lips. Not quite, but a bit of a hug. They are our champions with the lowest pro score. In the main event, it came down to a battle between Matthew Southgate and Victor Perez. Matt Southgate making four birdies and five holes on the front nine. That was his second into the sixth. In the end, a 71 for 21 under par. It fell just short. This a superb shot into the always crucial road hole. The 17 from Victor Perez. Flirting with a road hole bunker, but finding the green. The par was good enough for the Frenchman in his rookie year on the European Tour. A tiny little par putt on the last was good enough to finish at 22 under par to win by one. The first ever French champion on the old course at St Andrews in the Alfred Dunhill Lynx Championship. What a battle it's going to be between Perez and Bob McIntyre for the Sir Henry Cotton Rookie of the Year title. And Perez has certainly done his chances no harm at all with this famous victory and then this famous green in golf. The French celebrations led by Rafa Jacqueline. Victor Perez, the champion. Vector, many, many congratulations. A wonderful victory. You're first on the European Tour, and it's come in a marquee event in this iconic tournament and uh, golf course. Just describe your emotions for me. 
It's really hard to describe uh, right now. I feel like the emotions were really high all day. Um, really cold and windy, long day out there, and I felt like I was able to battle. It wasn't, wasn't easy. Matt played amazing. I, I was expecting some of the guys to charge, and we were fortunate that it was kind of a one-on-one -on -one battle on the back nine, and was able to uh, make that birdie on 14 that really pulled me back, and uh, then just held, held strong till the end. So much can and does happen on this golf course over the last few holes. Just describe what you were thinking, what you were feeling as those last four unfolded, having got into a tie for the lead. Yeah, obviously after the birdie on 14, getting tied for the lead, playing 15, I was just um, trying to still give myself chances. You always expect these guys at this level to make birdies and you have to stay aggressive. I think when Matt piped his drive down 16, I was like, well, there, there you have it. You know, this is what these guys do. They, they come in there, they give themselves chances. and. I hit a great drive into 17 that really settled me and then a great iron shot that I thought I hit it close. And then um, obviously going down the last with a one shot lead was um, is, is, is all you can ask for and then and, and luckily uh, power was good enough. You had Rory McIlroy's long term caddy JP on the bag. How valuable was his experience today in those circumstances? Yeah, obviously JP knows the three courses like uh, the back of his pocket so especially St Andrews it was a huge advantage for me to, to know where to hit it and, and really trust him. You know, he, he said it from the get-go, my job is to, to tell you where to hit it and your job is to execute and I was able to do that really well today. This victory takes you into the top 20 of the race to Dubai, the top 70 in the world rankings. Just how excited about what's potentially possible now with the rest of this year? Uh, I, didn't, I, didn't, I was trying not to think about it. I turned my phone off yesterday after the third round and, and kept it off till it's still off actually. And I just didn't want it to start thinking. It's so easy with the, the tournament, the, the magnitude of the tournament and the players that were in the field to start thinking, oh, what if I win, what if this, what if that, I was just trying to keep doing what I was doing, so and I knew the, the best thing for me was to turn my phone off, and, and uh, yeah, it's obviously, I'm delighted. How will you celebrate this victory? I don't know, I'm just 20 minutes down the street, so I might, we might have a few drinks. I would expect so, many congratulations, yeah, wonderful thank playing. Thank you. If you want to watch another European Tour video, click here, if you want to subscribe, click here.